Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, Saturday evening Compline. Uh, we're the Haynes family. This is uh, Laura, and I'm Jacob, and this is John and the Blanket here. Um, it's not exactly uh, 8 o'clock yet, so um, we are going to uh, read a little Bible story with John, um, and we'll start after we finish that um, with the prayer. Okay. We're going to read How to Pray. It's a paraphrase of Matthew 6. In those days, there were some extra super holy people. At least that's what they thought. And they were called Pharisees. Every day, they would stand out there in the middle of the street and pray out loud in big, extra super holy voices. They really weren't praying so much as just showing off. They used lots of special words, so that, special words that were so clever no one understood what they meant. People walking by would stop and stare, which might sound rude, except that's exactly what the extra super holy people wanted. They wanted everyone to say, look at them, they're so holy, God must love those people best. Now, you and I both know they're wrong. God doesn't love holy people. God doesn't just love holy people, but the people walking by weren't so sure. Perhaps you did have to be really clever or good or important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of difficult, clever words to speak to God. So, one day, Jesus taught the people how to pray. He said, When you pray, don't pray like those extra super holy people. They think if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's not because you're so clever or good or so important that God loves you and listens to you. God listens to you because he loves you. Did you know that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whisper deep inside your heart, even before you've started to say it? Because God knows exactly what you need, even before you ask him. Jesus told them, You see, God just can't wait to give you all that you need. So you don't need to use long words or special words. You don't have to use a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice. Just like when you're talking to someone you love very much, like this. Hello, Daddy. We want to know you and be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again, and in our hearts, too. Do what is best, just like you do in heaven. And please do it down here, too. Please give us everything we need today. Forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us. We need you. We don't want to keep running away and hiding from you. Keep us safe from our enemies. You are strong, God. You can do whatever you want. You are in charge. Now and forever always. We think you're great. Yes, we do. Amen. You see, Jesus was showing people that God would, nev that God would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up unbreakable always and forever love. So they didn't need to hide anymore or be afraid or ashamed. They could stop running away from God and they could run to him instead as a ch little child runs into her daddy's arms. Is this story over? Yeah, we'll read that one after the prayers, okay? I'll set it over here and we can read it after the prayers. All right. Okay, um, yeah. Good evening and um, again, welcome to Compline. We, um, we're the Haynes family. Um, you're, um, we're going to start now. Okay. So you can follow along from the Book of Common Prayer on page 127 or at bcponline.org. If you go to the tab for Daily Office and the tab for an order for Compline. The Lord Almighty, grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, 
and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I think that would have been a cause. I don't know what we'll to ask about that. <laughs> oh, it's accepted in Lent. Okay, hallelujah. <laughs> okay. And we'll read from Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Okay, if you can't see, then you can say that. Can I say that? I'm going to scoot your bottom back so you can see that. Glory to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. I'm reading from Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. You will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We give, we give you thanks, O God, for revealing your Son, Jesus Christ, to us by the light of his resurrection. Grant that as we sing to your glory at the close of this day, our joy may abound in the morning as we celebrate the Paschal Mystery. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Okay, and now is the time for intercession, so we'll see about any prayer requests in the comments. Is that all of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't see any new prayer requests, so we'll just pray through the requests we already have. And um, again, please type your requests, your prayer requests in the comments, and even if they come through after the video is done, um, they will be prayed over during the week. Father, watch over those in need, including A.J. Schutler, Everett Ball, Connor Parks, Stennis Watson, Becky Campbell Bellows, Hunter Haney and his family, Michael Brennan, Gordon Collins, John F. Tanner, Barbara Woodruff, Mary Braswell, Kim Morrison, Charlotte Rose, Christine Hampshire, Pascal Taylor, Amira and her family. Um, and an additional prayer I want to include this evening comes from um, the e-news that went out this week. 
had information about a, a novena for racial justice, peace, and healing, and it had resources for learning more about the Episcopal Church's work for rec racial reconciliation, and also some prayers to some words for us to pray as we have had a week that has left us a lot of us without knowing what to, to say. Um, so I'd like to pray through two of those prayers this evening, and you can find more of them in the Epiphany E News. The prayers for social justice. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer in time of conflict. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth. To confront one another without hatred or bitterness, and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, there's a couple other prayers I want to just add. Real, go. One came in for the health of David and Michael. Um, so, um, and I'm going to add a couple more just for... Um, the, uh, the those who are who are still uh, struggling from the quarantine, um, both in jobs and in um, just you know loneliness and isolation. So, um, so Father, thank you, um, thank you for today. Um, continue to um, heal our society and 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 be with all those um, who are hurting. Please let their voices be heard. Um, we want to pr continue to pray for good health for David and Michael. Um, we want to pray for all the isolated and the elderly um, amidst the quarantine. Um, give them, comfort them, and, and give them health and uh, peace. Um, we also want to pray for any of those whose jobs have been affected. Um, continue to uh, watch over them and provide um, Please let the, uh, those of us who continue to have jobs um, give us a generous heart um, and let us be seeking out those who, who, who need our help. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Guide us, us waking, O Lord, Lord and guard, guard us sleeping, that, that awake we may watch with Christ, Christ and, and asleep we may rest, rest in peace. peace. Alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Wait, did I read that wrong? No. Okay. Uh, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, thank you for praying with us this evening. John is waving hi. Hi, everybody. Um, you can join us again tomorrow morning for Epiphany's Sunday morning uh, online service at 10 a.m. here on Facebook Live and later in the day on YouTube. Uh, one last thing bye. I want to... <laughs> John says bye. Uh, one last thing I want to remind everybody of before we turn the video off is that Epiphany is still collecting non-perishable food, cleaning supplies, and diapers for Network, which is a non-profit coalition of churches and community organizations that provide food and other assistance for anyone in need here in Richardson. So you can drop off those donations in the wagon in front of the church at 421 Custer Road. Thank you for praying with us. All right, now you say bye. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. I don't know how to turn it off.